here, folks. Mine shaft accident traps 12. Hyde Park killer strikes again. There's a really funny Marmaduke. Good night, Tully. Good night. So, what are you doing tonight, Joe? You wanna grab a bite? With me? Yeah, why not? I mean, we work together and we certainly don't know each other. I was just thinking I'd like to get to know you and some of the people here. So what do you say? No. Ah, oh, come on. Might be fun. Oh, yeah. Lord knows the trouble we could get into. <laughs> I gotta stick around tonight. Weekly poker game. Oh, you play poker here, huh? Yeah. Another one of Frank DeMarco's revolutionary improvements to the paper. Say, hey, uh, Mary, you don't by any chance want to get in on this game yourself, do you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, Mary. You say you want to get to know all of us? What better way than a friendly game of poker? Uh -huh. Well, what, what are the chip amounts? The what? <laughs> the steak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a quarter, half dollar. For the most part, chump change, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you. You want me to get into the game because you think I'm a rube and you'll clean me out? Wrong, Mary. We want you there because you dress so nice. <laughs> Count me in. Brain's office. Five minutes, slick. Mary, whatever your dinner plans are, cancel them. Les and I are going to take you to Maison Le Ronde. Five stars, Mary. What's the occasion? Because you're my good friend. We love you and you need a treat. Ah, uh, that's really nice of you, Susan, but you don't have to take me out to an expensive dinner. Oh, uh, you're still thinking about the 38.5, aren't you? <laughs> have you ever had the Popiets du Vol? I'd crawl a mile on crushed glass for that stuff. <laughs> Listen, I know you both mean well, but I am not little orphan Annie, okay? Was that a Daddy Warbuck shot? Man, you know, I've been taking them my whole life. No, no. I... No, 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 Les, I, I really, I didn't mean... Oh, well. okay, I guess, I guess I'm a little sensitive about that. Every now and then, uh, I get a wild hair. <laughs> To, but I, I have other plans. Well, Mary, what could be more important than having a wonderful dinner with two people you really care about? I'm gonna play poker here. <laughs> poker, really? Can I get in the game? Les, now we're going but, but, to... Just only for a couple of hands. Oh. I can't resist the game. It helps me unwind a little bit. Mm. You know, it's all in fun. Doesn't mean nothing. Mm. So what are the stakes? Any limits on raises? <laughs> what about the uh, side betting? Do they go for that? Okay, baby. Here you go. Yeah, please. Sir. There you go. Hey, Mary! Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Listen, would it be all right if a friend of mine sits in for a while? Hiya, folks. Oh, oh, it's kind of a private game. Well, then do you guys want to go get dinner? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 You're a great bunch of people. 20 bucks to get in. Les, honey, we're going to lose our reservation. Uh, I, I tell you what, honey. Call the restaurant. Push the reservations back till 10. Are you kidding? I had to call two days in advance to get this one. It's the most crowded oh, spot in town. Just mention that I'm a close friend of Richie Villarino. Who's he? <laughs> we served in Korea together. Nice fella. Has a glass eye. Call Susan. Give it a shot. Honey, the Pope couldn't get a reservation changed in that place. Richie Villarino. Richie Villarino. Listen, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a stranger to poker. I mean, granted, I don't play it every week like you do, but when I was married, my husband and I belonged to this charity club, and twice a year they'd have Monte Carlo night. And guess who always came home with the new toaster or gift certificate? In for a buck. Make it two. Up a half. One but another. Three fifty plus one. Mary? You could at least have the decency to deal the cards first. <laughs> Last up card. Here they come, boys and girls. You're smiling, Mary. Did something please you? No, 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 no. Who <laughs> best? Me, me. I got a king showing. That's a queen, Tully. Yes? No, the other one. That's a jack. Still looks like a pretty good hand. Yeah, blind man's bluff. Jack. You're working on a straight, Mary Brenner. It's up to you. Okay, then, uh, a buck. Sit. Mary betting the whole dollar? She's got the straight. I'm out. Ed? George Bernard Shaw once wrote, He who has nothing to assert has no style and can have none. 
He who does will go as far as his conviction carries him. Up a quarter. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, who am I kidding? I fold another damn thing's match. Call. Yeah. Okay, last card. Down and dirty. Oh. <laughs> Better yet, Mary. Uh, I still back? Yes, Mary. A buck. And a half. That's a buck and a half to you, Les. Um, yeah, I seem a little short here. Okay. All right, uh, that's how to do it. I see the bet, and up a buck. Uh, well, you sure we haven't met before? I could swear your face is familiar. Where would you know me from? Well, a couple of years ago, I was doing a series of articles on racketeering in Vegas, and... <laughs> nah, I can't be. <laughs> you newspaper guys, what imagination. I got a clean head, and I don't talk nice like Ted Koppel, so right away I'm a gangster. I better go down and have the car bulletproof, eh? Huh? <laughs> well, it took me forever to get through, but they moved our reservation. It's wonderful. Did you mention Richie Villarino? Yes, and they're holding a table open for us by the window. See, terrific. Yes, and the strolling violinists have agreed to stay on until we get there. Good old Richie. I kiss his cheek, he kisses mine. <laughs> I fold. I receive the bet and raise it a buck. I'm out. Last raise over, Mary. It's up to you. Ah, uh, some pot. Okay. There's your dollar, and your dollar, and one more dollar. I'm in. Frank? I don't know. I... Come on, you've gone this far. Live a little. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, boy, Frank. Okay, Mary, what do you got? I have a lovely nine high straight. I knew Ooh. it. It's me. Your pot, Mary. Well, isn't that always the way? The minute you stop wanting something, that's when you get it. <laughs> what a lovely surprise this is. This is like playing cards with a smurf. Mary, these are yours. Yeah, okay. Possible flush. Eight, no help there. Hello, six. Here it comes. Ten. Five, garbage. Another five. Good job of shuffling it. Oh, Dad. Here it comes. What are you going to do, Les? In a buck. What a stinking buck. Come on. <laughs> I don't got much more. I'll be a man. Mary. Susan, will you stay out of this, please? We're playing cards. What are you going to do? All right. Five. My hero, Joe. Go with you, killer. Good girl, Ed. <laughs> you know, as I sit here, I can't help but feel that what we're experiencing is pure theater. Not actors trying to be people, but people trying to be actors. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you going to do? Come on. Ed LaSalle exits. Frank? I don't know. Give me a minute. I'm in. Yes. I'm out. Me too. No guts, both of you. Call. All right, last card. Check. 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 How about 20? 20. 20. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> Frank? It's too rich for my blood. Hallelujah! Oh, boy, I love it. I'll take a part of the night. And you want to know how I did it, boys and girls? With a bluff, a lousy pair of threes. Look at that. I love it. What charity group were you with, Mary? Save the shark? You people just keep throwing it in, and I'll just keep hauling it in, too. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, Mary. No, I'm not okay. That person in there. I don't know that person. I never met her before in my life. Grabbing and clawing and clutching at that money. Well, would it help you if I told you she was just acting human? 
No. Would it help you if I told you she was making me hot? <laughs> what? I like a woman who grabs and claws and clutches at anything. You pick this moment to come on to me? <laughs> you are absolute sewage. <laughs> Mary, I'm just trying to liven things up. I mean, it's no big deal. You got carried away. Shake it off. Forget it. How can I forget it? Well, it's not like you cheated anybody. It was a tough game, and you won because you played well. Granted, you were an animal. <laughs> that's just a matter of style. That's exactly what I was. A hideous, predatory, money-grubbing animal. And for what? A couple of hundred dollars. Well, if you feel that bad, why don't you give it back? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You see, the only reason I got into this game was so that I could feel I was a part of this place. I wanted them to get to know me. You know? And what did they see aside of me that is so low and ugly? I just don't know how I'm going to face them tomorrow. Played like a champ in there, Mary. I'll get you next week. Well, Mary Brenner, I can say I've been waxed by the best. <laughs> Thanks for livening up the evening, Mary. Say, Mary, you know that lunch tab you owe me? Yeah. I want it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you ready for that dinner? Glass, it's 1.30. Don't worry, they'll be open. What just happened here? They know a lady when they see one. You're smart, attractive. You play a hell of a game of poker. If only you were easy. <laughs> Good night, Frank. Good night, Mary. Don't forget your money. Still don't feel good about it. It spends the same. <laughs> Come to mama!